What's up, what's up, everybody? It's Sean Taylor, as always, and today I'm going over five visual tips to create a mysterious artist image. A lot of these images I'll be going through quickly, um, but of course you can just pause it. You can watch on YouTube if you need to look at it a little bit, a little bit longer. Anyway, and I'll also end with the image of the weekend used that brings so many of these elements together. Right into it. Silhouettes, right? Silhouettes are naturally mysterious because we can't see all of whoever the figure is, and we wonder what they're looking like or wonder what their facial expression that gives us so much information is saying and reading. And it even creates a sense of, um, you know, fear in an instant like, instance like this. And it's not because all of them were black and white, by the way, because you look at this one, it still has that sense of mystery just being a silhouette. But number two is black and white, which is why you commonly see black used in so much mysterious stuff. Uh, you know, white is actually a lot of times a necessary evil, but if you do black and blue or black and other things, you can still create a sense of mystery. You just have to be skilled at what you're doing because the real thing is really darkness. The nighttime has this sense of danger that we associate with it, the sense of unknown and all those things. So the night, the black, that's the real thing, but oftentimes you'll see black and white used. Incomplete faces. So a lot of people don't really realize this, but look at this cat, right? I, First of all, it's a dope ass picture. This cat looks like a boss. But if you look and you just see his face, you don't see his eyes, you're wondering. We get information from the face. So we, when we can't see some of the face, we wonder. And then the, this is the exact reverse, right? You see the eyes and the mouth and everything, but you can't really see the rest, right? So this is incomplete. You don't, you don't see the forehead, at least. That brings that whole idea of what else. Saya uses this, the whole eye covering thing, even though her bangs doesn't necessarily always cover her eyes just the fact that her bangs go so low you can't see some of her face and it helps a part of that mystery she doesn't look open and then this is that you know uh, stereotypical masquerade ball mask and you can see the eyes you can see the nose mouth and all that stuff but it still has this sense of mystery that's just what covering up the face does and then fourth is symbols especially like religious symbols and things like that because a symbol means that it's standing for something greater. So anybody encountering that is going to know that there's something deeper. There's a deeper meaning. And you trying to become a mysterious artist, if you have your own symbol or you're using symbols, then people are going to associate and understand there's a deeper meaning and wonder what that meaning is. By the way, top right is the Masonic symbol, Freemasons. Bottom right is, you might recognize that. That's the Apple's App Store symbol. People don't realize that was inspired by the Freemasons. I wonder why Apple's doing so good. But anyway... That's none of my business. Sips tea. That's just another symbol right here that kind of have that has that whole mystery or ancient epic. Like you could tell it means something more when you see it. Religious people use once again so much, um, so many religious symbols, but especially the crosses use so much. Transparency. Last but not least, number five. So transparency. It creates this sense of mystery. This guy did a decent job at it right here, um, but a lot of people. They don't really use it too much, maybe because it's difficult, but I believe the artist who really does that, since so few people, use, few people use transparency for mystery, they'll actually stand out a lot more than others because it's so underutilized. If they do it and they do it well, an artist that can use transparency will really stand out. And here's a picture The Weeknd did, once again, bringing together so many of the elements that I spoke of. See if you can figure them out. If you can't, here are a few, well, at least five of them, yeah, letters, black and white. Nighttime is literally nighttime in this picture, and then silhouettes and blurs. He used all these things, right? And his hair is a symbol, technically. Anyway, have a great one. You know what to do. Subscribe.